Smile and learn. Today we are going to learn about the parts of the eye. The eye is the sense organ of sight. It is in charge of collecting information from everything that surrounds us related to shapes, colors, sizes, and distances. The eye transmits the information to the brain, which makes us aware of what is happening around us. Imagine you see the green traffic light. The eye will transmit the information to the brain, and this will signal the muscles to move so that we can start crossing the street. These are the parts of the eye. The function of the lacrimal gland is to produce tears, an element of great importance as tears carry nutrients and oxygen. Tears also help to keep the eye clean and moist. Did you know that our eyes produce tears constantly without us realizing it? The main function of the eyelids is to protect the eye. Our eyelids move unconsciously several times per minute, meaning that they do so without us realizing it. Have you ever noticed that we tend to close our eyes when it's windy? Our eyelids move downwards to prevent unwanted elements from entering the eye, such as dust or sand. This also happens when our eye gets really close to an object or when there's a lot of light. The function of the eyebrows is to protect the eye from sweat or rain. The function of the eyelashes is to protect the eye from dust or sand. Did you know that eyelashes also shield our eyes from direct sunlight? The cornea is a transparent layer that helps our eye to focus on objects. It is a very important part of the eye, but it's hardly visible because the cornea is a semi-transparent tissue. The iris controls the amount of light that enters the pupil, and it is also the part of the eye that has color. That's why we say that some people have blue eyes while others have brown or green eyes. Did you know that eye color is an inherited trait? The pupil is a black circle situated in the middle of the iris and allows light to enter the eye. When there's a lot of light, pupils become smaller. In other words, they contract. While in low light, the size of the pupil increases, meaning that pupils dilate. The retina is located at the back of the eyeball and it's made up of millions of light-sensitive cells. The retina is in charge of receiving the light and transmitting this information to the brain through the optic nerve. The eye lens permits the eye to focus on objects that we see at a distance. As we grow older, the eye lens may start losing this ability. That's why elderly people have blurred vision. We call this eye fatigue or cataract. The optic nerve is like a messenger. It carries the visual information from the retina to the brain. Sometimes, certain parts of the eye won't work properly. This causes vision problems. To solve them and be able to see clearly, some people need to wear glasses. Vision problems may also cause vision loss. This is known as blindness or visual impairment. And that was all about the parts of the eye. Interesting, right? Today we are going to learn how the sense of sight works. The human eye has different parts. Some parts protect the eye, while other parts are in charge of vision. The parts that protect the eye are the eyebrows, the eyelids, the eyelashes, and the lacrimal glands. The eyelids open and close many times per minute and help the eye stay clean and moist. The lacrimal glands help clean the eye and eliminate the germs in the dust that reaches the eye. The parts of the eye in charge of vision are the iris, the pupils, the eye lens, and the retina. Visual information reaches the iris, which is in charge of controlling the amount of light entering the eye. Then light gets to the pupil and reaches the inner part of the eye directly. The eye lens receives the information and is in charge of focusing properly on objects and shapes. The retina is located at the back of the eyeball. It receives light and transmits this information through the optic nerve. 
The optic nerve carries the information to the brain, which is in charge of recognizing and comprehending what our eyes are able to see. To protect your eyes, you should wear sunglasses during summertime, if you're at the beach or at the mountain. And this is how the sense of sight works. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.